The following is classified audio. Only qualified agents may listen past this point. The Administration, Episode 13, Mellifluous. Thank you dearly, dears. Alright, just give me a moment in order to get in order, and there we are. Everything as it should be. Mission report, mission EU-1609, Agent Hart reporting. I haven't received intel yet, though. Wrong location, but Nan took the folder with her and disappeared into the other part of the room. Darling, do you think you could... Oh, there you are, hun. Are you finished with the folder yet? All yours, Di. You recording for the boss? Sure am, darling. You want to take over for me while I read over the file? Only for you, Di. Of course. Didn't mean anything by it, Z. Besides, when have I ever been less than perfectly professional? Ouch. Suppose I earned that, though. You want a proper report, yeah? I can handle that. Report begins. We're on location. Outside the affected area, obviously. We're gonna set up a perimeter, try to keep it contained best we can. Because if anyone gets through, it's just gonna get stronger. It? The collective. The entity. Read the file, you'll know what I'm talking about. It's not just the anomaly herself we've got to worry about. Although, frankly, if it was just her, sending you would have been a waste. You'd better leave her to me once we get in there, by the way. I'll know if you don't. You know I'd never step on your toes, honey. You're more likely to step on mine. Anyways, if history is an indicator. <laughs> uh, we agreed never to speak of that again. Oh, did we? I can't seem to remember that. Anyways, you're gonna keep your hands away from this chick's pointy parts, yeah? I don't want to have to try and patch you up when this is over. Yes, yes, you're a big bad guard dog, darling. Don't let the others hear you talk like that. They might find out you're a huge softy under all that teeth. Didn't seem to mind me being a god dog when that bitch was going after you, but sure. We both know you picked a fight with her as much on your own behalf as on mine, cutie. Besides, you're the one that brought her in as a prospective agent instead of a captured target. But maybe it's not just me you're going soft on, hmm, hun? I- I ain't going soft on anyone. She just had potential, got that? I didn't go easy on her or nothing. It just seemed simpler to bring her in. Thank you, Z. Yeah, so the anomaly seems to have mind control abilities, though much weaker than yours, we assume. Why do you say that, darling? Die, listen to yourself. You're the strongest mind altering anomaly we know. Pretending otherwise doesn't make it true. If she's stronger than you, we've got something else entirely to worry about. So, we're gonna go set up a perimeter and then try to scout, see if we can figure out the configuration of her lackeys. If the role mom lifting a car off a baby strong, we've got a problem. Otherwise, this should be an easy one for us together. Back soon. Report over. That was... something. You don't say. I... Nan, was I ever that bad? You need a minute before we report? I can get you water or something if you want. No, I'll be alright. Thank you, sweetheart. Oh, thanks, darling, but we were very cautious. Everything's all right, so no worrying, okay, Mira? Nah, you know I made her follow protocol. She stayed outside the perimeter I scouted along. Want us to start the report? Yes, of course, hon. Mission report, mission number EU-1609E. Agent Hart and Tooth reporting. We just scout and set a perimeter, making sure that no more civilians can get in range of the anomaly. She seems to be staying largely in one place, letting the Collective do everything for her, which falls in line with the previous intel about the Anomaly herself. Her Collective, though? God, it's worse than the town Vanny took over, honestly. At least those guys just had the minor NPC syndrome. These poor saps are convinced they're part of a hive mind. It's despicable. I can't imagine ever using my powers that way. 
She's removed all sense of humanity from them and made them into her mindless minions, literally incapable of individual thought. It's awful. She's basically stripped them of everything that is an essential for function and made them act as a little servants. I think we'd need to get a closer look to be sure, but I bet they wouldn't try to keep the intruders out. I think that they probably have standing orders to either report intruders to the anomaly or just bring them to her, instead of keeping them out entirely. That leaves us with two possible plans. Sneak in, or be brought in. Well, those aren't our only options, hon. Huh? My gosh, it's like you don't even know me. Darling, we could just walk in. They'd notice us if we weren't stealthy, though. Yes! Oh, you want them to notice us. Well, why do you think Mira sent me here with you, sweetheart? I'm not just eye candy. You're wearing your inhibitor, though. That's true, but I can just remove it. Mira, dearest, the hair clippy one just comes out, right? Why did you think I was wearing it instead of the bracelets? I don't know. Good sparkly. How dare you! I can make tactical decisions not related to the glitteriness of my accessories. Oh no, I've offended you. How will I ever make it up to you? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, here's the plan. You go in first, get as many minions out as you can. If you can't get them out of her range, you can at least take them from her. See if getting them out from under her thumb helps them be people again. Send me an update if not, so I can tell Zia to get cleanup ready. I'll go in after you and take out the anomaly. Seeing as she got her guys doing everything for her, I doubt she'll be able to do anything once I get close. Z, we'll bring a pair of recorders with, but I'm on this report now. Call us back if you need to, but we will report back when we're done, yeah? Understood. Report over. Oh, I know, darling, I know. Come on, let's get you out of here, okay? <laughs> so, uh, this is what you do with your free time? Is this how you address your queen? Please, you ain't anyone's queen if you can't even sit right. It's my throne. I'll sit how I please. Guards! Nah, I don't think that's how this is gonna go. Honestly, you should have known better than to be so loud about the whole queen shit. You should know well as anyone that a crown worth anything is a crown worth killing for. You dare! Besides, you ain't even the queen of your own damn castle. Where are those gods, you think? I think. You want to know what I think? I think they found a better queen. I think even your own minions had to be brainwashed into loving you. And I think that without them, you're nothing. I think you know that, too. You want to talk about nothing? I'm your queen. And you will bow to me. You are nothing, not in the face of- Yeah, I'm gonna stop you there. You really think your shtick will work on me? Not likely. So we can do this the easy way or the painful way? Wanna find out if your blood's really blue? Oh, sweetheart, come on, come on. Of course. None of that now. Let's get you out of here, mm-hmm. Anything for you. Oh, nine, please hurry. Well, that went as well as you could have expected it to. You... you can't do this! Come on, kid. You gotta know that I can. Ugh. <sighs> Oh dear lord, that's over with. Come on, you had the easy job. Did I? You just had to incapacitate the anomaly, darling. I had to save all her poor victims. Including the ones that were more than inclined to non-resistance. Oh shit, any of them try anything? Not so much as that. Oh, Mira, love, you want the report, don't you? Of course, darling. Mission report, mission number EU-1609E. Agent's heart and tooth reporting. The anomaly has been subdued courtesy of Agent Tooth. Her victims don't appear to have any lasting damage of the magical sort, but they are, well... They fucked up about it? Well, I'm more worried if they weren't, hun. Mira, sweetest, could you send the neighbors along with cleanup when you send them here? The emotional influence might be helpful in the victim's recovery. Thank you, honey. 
As for agent injuries, agent who sustained very minor injuries while taking on the anomaly. I'll heal her up as soon as we're done here, so don't worry about that. Greta, darling, anything you want to add? If I were little Retta, I'd call you on the code names, Di. Did you not just use a non-code name yourself, darling? Touche. Uh, on the report front, got the anomaly and the inhibitors, so she should be safe for transport. She's not nearly as strong as Di, so the precautions we have already should be enough to contain her. Physically very weak, and she's still got some injuries, although Di healed her up most of the way already before we put her in transport, so she should be fine. <laughs> Was that a joke, see? I didn't know you could still do those. Oh, ouch, see? That how you treat little sis? What did I ever do to you? Alright, let's not muddle the report any further. Anything you want to add before I sign us off? Nah, I think we got everything we shoulda. Excellent. Then for now, report over, darling. O'Reilly. Malif Lewis is voiced by Amia Aragoke. The victims are voiced by Katie Gruss. The voice of the narrator is Katie Gruss. Sound effects are provided by Pixabay. Hey folks, me again. Thanks for listening to this episode of The Administration. As ever, new episodes wherever your podcasts are found. If you need us, check out our Tumblr at adminpod our Discord, or our email inbox at adpodbusiness at gmail.com. Report over.